Okay, hello everyone. Uh, this is this is Trey from Texas Sports TV, and this is going to be my Week 12 NFL Power Ranking. And yeah, so this is there was a lot of movements, a few big movements. This was a pretty interesting week when it comes to my power rankings, and there were some pretty good games. And yeah. A blowout that really sucked and it really yeah games that really affected the power rankings this week especially the top spot that's uh let's go on the rules obviously no uh, i'm not gonna too many viewers so i won't really go over them as of yet and then let's go the worst team in the nfl is still the miami dolphins they still have the second to worst uh, offense and the third to worst defense uh, scoring 139 points for 31st ranked Dolphins and allowing 305 points for you know the 30 and points allowed that is a one, negative 166 point differential and a two late record they have 61 points yeah yeah not good this is just really not a good team but you technically could be worse than the Dolphins with the way they are now you could have the worst offense and the worst defense but you don't and so you Dolphins are the worst team the Cincinnati Bengals are still there that are still there at the 31st spot they have scored 147 points, 30th in the NFL, and they've allowed 276 points, 28th in the NFL, for a negative 129 point differential. They are 0 in 10. They're the last team with no wins, with, and they have 58 points. There we go. Washington Redskins have scored 125 points, the worst in the NFL, and they've allowed 253 points, 21st in the NFL. They've only scored 125 points. Yep, not good. Uh, that they have a negative 128 point differential, a 1 9 record, uh, 32 plus 21, that gives them 53 points, knocking them down to 30th in the NFL. The New York Jets get a nice little boost. Uh, they scored 164 points, 29th in the NFL. They've allowed 255 points, 23rd in the NFL, with a negative 91 point differential. Uh, they got a 37 record. And 29 plus 23, 52 points. Might, um, moving them up to the 29th spot. The New York Giants, however, are stagnant. They have scored 203 points, 22nd in the NFL. And they've allowed 289 points, 29th in the NFL. The negative 86 point difference on the record. The 22 and 29 gives them 51 points, leaving them at 28. Uh, Atlanta Falcons, another, another team that has been stagnant. They have scored 220 points, 20th in the NFL. They have allowed 262 points, 26th in the NFL. With a negative 42 point differential and a 3 7 record, the 20 plus 26 gives them 46 points, leaving them at 20, the 27th spot. The Arizona Cardinals fell down, uh, fell down in their standings. They have scored 248 points, 10th in the NFL, which is really good. They have the 10th best uh, scoring offense. But they have the worst defense in the NFL. So, yeah, Kyler Murray and the offense is not getting any help from their defense at all. Okay, they've allowed 317 points, 32nd in the NFL. They have a negative 69 point differential and a 371 record. And they have tied for 42 points. Not getting out to 26 spot. Uh, the Browns got a nice little boost there. They scored on 92 points, 25th in the NFL, and they've allowed 228 points, 17th in the NFL. They got a negative 36 point differential on 4 6 record, uh, the 42 point tie. Yeah, that gives them a little bit of boost up to the 25th spot. The Jacksonville Jaguars, uh, they got knocked down to the 20, they got knocked down uh, spots. They scored a, They have scored under 89 points, 26th in the NFL, and they've allowed 222nd points, 16th in the NFL. Again, their biggest problem is still their offense. The negative 33 point differential and the 4-6 record, they got, they're tied for 42 points. 
knocking them down to the 24th spot. The Carolina Panthers also fell down a few spots. They've scored 228 points, 16th in the NFL. They've allowed 257 points, 25th in the NFL. Negative 29 point differential on the 5 5 re record. 26 16 plus 25, 41 points, knocking down to 23rd spot. The Detroit Lions got knocked up a few spots, though. They have scored 244 points, 12th in the NFL. They've allowed uh, 272 points, 27th in the NFL. Negative 28 point differential, a 3 6 a 1 record, and 12 plus 27, 39 points, knocking them to the 22nd spot, moving them up. Tampa Bay Buccaneers have also moved up in the NFL. They have scored 277 points, the seventh best offense in the NFL right now. But just like the Judds, like the Cardinals, they are getting no help from the defense. Defense is. Uh, they have allowed 313 points, 31st in the NFL. Negative 36 point differential, 37 record, and 38 points tied. The Oakland Raiders have also moved up a spot. They have scored 225 points, 18th in the NFL. They have allowed 250 points, 20th in the NFL. Negative 25 point differential, and 6 4 record, 18 plus 20, 38 point tie, moving them up to the 20 spot. The Pittsburgh Steelers uh, fell down. A few spots, they have scored 200 points, 24th in the NFL. They've allowed 202 points, 11th in the NFL. For the Steelers, the problem must be their offense right now. A negative two point differential, a 5 5 record, 35 points scored. Uh, 20, 35 points, knocking them out to the 19th spot. That's what I mean. Uh, the Los Angeles Chargers have moved down the spot as well. They have scored 224 points, 19th in the NFL. They've allowed 218 points, 15th in the NFL, a plus 6 point differential, 4 7 record, 34 points, knocking them down to the 18th spot. Then for Broncos, got a nice little boost. They scored 172 points, 27th in the NFL. They've allowed 197 points, tied for 6 in the NFL. Then for Broncos, actually have a good defense. It's their offense that's given them the problems. A negative 25 point differential, 3 7 record. 33 points high. Not moving them up to the 17th spot. Now we're at the midway point. The way out this works, the, that's the bottom worst at the NFL. Now we're looking at the top best in the NFL. Uh, the Philadelphia Eagles fell down a few spots. They've scored 234 points, 15th in the NFL. They've allowed 230 points, 18th in the NFL, plus 4 point differential and a 5 5 record. Gives them a 33 point tie. Chicago Bears. Okay, they have a horrendous offense. Everyone knows that. 169 points, 28th in the NFL. But they have a strong defense. Again, everyone knows that. 172 points allowed, 4th in the NFL. Negative 5 point differential, 4 6 record, 32 points. Everyone knows what the problem is. It's the offense. So, yeah, not much to talk about there. They're stagnant at the 15th spot. Indianapolis Colts got a nice boost. Uh, they've scored 227 points, 17th in the NFL. They've allowed 206 points, 14th in the NFL, plus 21 point differential with the 6 4 record, 31 points. Yeah, the Colts have moved up to the 14th spot. Uh, the Texans. Okay, they got knocked down. They fell out of the top 10. Uh, they have scored 245 points, 11th in the NFL. They've allowed 132 points, 19th in NFL, plus 13 point differential, 6 4 record, 30 point tie. And they're going to play the Colts next. And yeah, if the Colts win, more than likely I'll, they're probably going to be able to surpass the Texans, depending on how strong that victory is. Uh, because they still need to beat them with a certain amount of strength, considering how these power rankings work, and not how, you know, most work. Yeah, Texans got knocked down to the 13th spot. Seattle Seahawks are stagnant. They have scored 275 points, 8th in the NFL. They've allowed 254 points, 22nd in the NFL, plus 21 point differential, 8 2 record. They got a 30 point tie, ranked 12th in the NFL. The Tennessee Titans. They have scored 203 points, 22nd in the NFL, tied for that. They've allowed 197 points, tied for 6 in the NFL. Plus six point differential, five five record. The reason they're way up here is because the defense, as you can see, and their offense isn't the worst elements out there. So twenty eight points. Titans have moved up to the eleventh spot. Now we get to the top ten. 
these should be playoff contending teams. Kansas City Chiefs got knocked down to the 10th spot. Uh, they have scored 308 points, second in the NFL. They have allowed 256 points, 24th in the NFL, plus 52 point differential, 7 for record, 26 points, knocking them down to the 10th spot. New Orleans Saints got a nice boost. They scored 238 points, 14th in the NFL. They have allowed 199 points, 10th in the NFL. The defense is doing better than their offense right now. A plus 39 point differential, 8 2 record, 24 point side, knocking them up to the 9th spot. The Buffalo Bills got a nice boost. Uh, they've scored 211 points, 21st in the NFL. They've allowed 170 points, 30 in the NFL, plus 41 point differential, 7 3 record, 24 point tie. They got yeah, a nice bump up today. Pop. Los Angeles Rams are stagnant where they're at, which I don't think they were complaining. Uh, 243 points, 13th in the NFL, 198 points allowed, 9th in the NFL, plus 45 point differential, 6 4 record, 24 points, leaving them at the 7th spot. Green Bay Packers got a nice boost. They've scored 250 points, 9th in the NFL. They've allowed 205 points, tied for 12th in the NFL. Uh, plus 45 point difference, 82 record, 21 points. Packers got a great offense, and they do have a nice defense to back them up. Now we get to the top five teams. These should be the playoff contending, not just playoff. These should be the Super Bowl contending teams. These are your best bets to make it to the Super Bowl. Now, staying at the number five spot, yes, the Minnesota Vikings are still there as a favorite to make it to the Super Bowl in my power rankings. They have scored 289 points, fourth in the NFL. They've allowed 205 points, 12th in the NFL, a plus 84 point differential, 83 record. They have 16 points. Dallas Cowboys are stagnant at four spot. They have scored 286 points, 6th in the NFL. They've allowed 197 points, tied for 6th in the NFL. A plus 89 point differential, 6 for record. They got 12 points. Now we get to the top 3, and these are your favorites to win the Super Bowl. These are not just your favorites to make it, but to win it all. To get the glory, to lift up the Lombardi Trophy. Who gets the bronze? Well, it's still going to be the Baltimore Ravens in the number three spot. They still have the best scoring offense, though, scoring 100, 341 whopping points. The best in the NFL. Okay? And they showed that offense against Houston. And so, yeah, right there, they got the fifth best defense, only allowing 196 points, a plus 145 point differential, A2 record. They got a six point tie. Now, who gets the silver? It's the New England Patriots. They got knocked out of their one spot here, okay? They got knocked down. They're now in the second spot. Okay, Ravens and Patriots are both teams I respect. So, yeah, them winning the Super Bowl wouldn't really kill me. I don't want the Patriots to make it this year, though. Uh, I want another team to make it this year. They're neither one are really my favorite teams. If they do make it, it'd be like a, an amazing feat. Honestly, it would be an amazing feat to be able to live and see it. Uh, four Super Bowls in a row. Now, the New England Patriots, they, they, are, they have scored 287 points. Fifth in the NFL. They've only allowed 108 points. They have the best defense in the NFL right now. That's why this. That's amazing. They have a plus 179 point differential, a 9 1 record, and they got the six point tie. Now, who got the gold? Who took New England Patriots' place? Well, it's the San Francisco 49ers. They don't have the best offense like the Ravens, and they don't have the best defense like. Uh, the Patriots. Now the Ravens, they got the best scoring offense, but and, and they got an amazing defense to back up that number one scoring offense. That's why they're ranked so high. Patriots got the best defense and they got a top five offense to back up that awesome defense. The 49ers got the third best offense, 295 points, and the second best defense, 155 points, or five points. Three and two, five points. So they barely beat out the Patriots and the Ravens here. Now it's still a toss up for any one of those three teams to win the Super Bowl. Uh, 49ers, they do have a plus 148 
140 point difference of my one record. Everything is a toss up. Those three fields are three great teams. I would I would rather have the Patriots or the Ravens win the Super Bowl over the 49ers. I don't respect the 49ers. I don't like the 49ers. I like them less than other teams. Uh, and I've explained why in my video where I explained how I think about each of the NFL football teams. And so, yeah. 49ers. Uh, I don't like them. I don't like them holding the number one spot. I would like another team. I'd, I'd like the Patriots to take it back. Hopefully. But right now, the 49ers are the favorites to win it all. Because right now, they are the best team in NFL. Sadly.